Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I thought I'd do today is I've got a raised fire altar, for lack of a better word, old Boy Scout style fire altar out here at the Pathfinder School. And I thought I would do some cooking today for lunch. And I'm going to kind of walk you guys through my base camp cook kit and also talk to you about some of the things that we carry at Self Reliance Outfitters as far as our stainless steel and our pack grills and how I kind of combine that stuff to a working model to be able to cook different things with over the fire. So we're gonna go ahead and cook like a three course meal today with meat, some type of bread, and some vegetables. Stay with me and we'll get started. All right, so this is my main cook kit. And I have a pair of gloves in here. And I have a few bags inside of just a Rothko water bucket. And that gives me something I can wash things up with after the fact down by the creek. I can heat water up in a pot, pour it in there. I have some place to wash my dishes. Inside that I have a Badger Claw leather bag that contains three different sizes of pack grills that we have on our website and each one of these has a different purpose. This one fits the small bush pot, this one fits the large bush pot, and this one here is the one that I would use across something like these two stones. And I'll just scoot those together. And these could be logs just as easily, but because I have these stones and I'm in camp, I'm going to use those for this. And Having nice hot coals underneath there, I can easily adjust that stuff around to where I want it, push it to the back, pull it to the front, get everything adjusted where I want it, and that's where I'm going to cook my steak. And we'll use these other two after the fact for something else. Now, those all snap into the same badger claw patch, or pouch I should say, just like this, and they stuff right down on the side. afternoon guys I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. I believe this video cut off really early in the video because I was filming outside next to a fire it's about 100 degrees out it feels like probably warmer than out the heat index right now and next to the fire and I was going to film myself cooking lunch I've got a wonderful lunch here of garlic bread ribeye steak and loaded mashed potatoes and I was going to kind of walk you through how I was cooking that using the different components of my base camp cook set. Unfortunately, the camera shut off, so I didn't get a lot of it. I did bring my camera under an overhang and cool it down a little bit, and I shot a couple little snippets of cooking this garlic bread in the bush pot with this large pack grill that is new to our website that fits inside that large bush pot. It's a larger size made to set right inside this larger bush pot so that you can actually use it for an oven. And then I basically took this MSR Titan bowl and set it inside, put the lid on to make a convection oven. And I do that with a small bush pot. And we've had this smaller pack grill for a while now and this longer elongated one. But we just recently came out with this larger one specifically for the bigger bush pot so you could make bigger breads and meals and things like that in it. We've also got a bag from Badger Claw Leatherworks here. It's made of oil cloth that all three of these racks will fit inside of or you could choose to have, you know, just one in there or two, whatever you desired, but we sell it separately as well. So I thought maybe I would get a bite of this loaded baked potatoes, which incidentally now is cold, but that's okay. I had to wait for everything to cool down so I could come in here and kind of shoot this video. What I kind of wanted to show you really was my intention with this whole thing was to kind of go through my base camp cook set with you guys. And I used this Rocco water bag or this canvas water bucket as a basis for my kit because I can wash dishes in that. And then I have the large Badger Claw bag for a bush pot as the basis that fits inside that. And I put all of the lids at the very bottom and then I put the skillet at the bottom below that, our stainless steel skillet, goes at the bottom below all of those lids. Kind of using some of this stuff still, but we'll do what we can here. Then I take the large bush pot and I put it in next. And I generally, inside that, we put my small bush pot 
which incidentally right now is full of potatoes. I actually forgot to put my skillet in there first. I would drop my skillet in on top of those lids and then my large bush pot. Then I put the small bush pot inside there, which like I said is full of potatoes right now. And I would put this small MSR Titan bowl in there, which is full of bread. And then flip this plate upside down on top of it, which again is some off-brand stainless steel plate until we get these two things developed for our cook set. I'm just kind of using an off-brand stuff right now or something else I can find that is applicable and works. Then generally in this same bag, I will also, or in this large kit, I have a bag of utensils here with some card utensils in it made from black walnut. I have a stirring spoon, a serving spoon, a spatula, an eating spoon, and a forged fork. And they all fit inside of another canvas sleeve, just like this. So that I can kind of roll that up and put it inside there. And inside this canvas bag, there is actually a sleeve that fits some utensils inside the bag here that's on this side of the bag. You can see the seam right there where it goes up. And generally I put a set of utensils and my thermometer that I use to check meat temperatures and things like that out there in that. And then I have a small chain that I use sometimes to hang my pot off of things, my bush pots, whether it's my small one or my large one, to hang those off a makeshift tripod that I can also make with this chain very quickly out of three small sticks, make that tripod and then hang my bush pot from it and adjust it where I need it over the fire. I generally will put that in that other small pocket that's in the side there, beside my utensils. And then I'll generally put some kind of seasoning in there and then this, like I said, I'll put this pan over the top of that. And then all of that fits down inside very comfortably of this main bag. That's basically a water bucket that I can use to, number one, tote water up to camp, but also to wash my dishes in after the fact and store water in that I've boiled and things like that. And then I have a pair of leather gloves that I just throw in the top of everything when I'm done. And that's how I carry that base camp cook kit. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna try to eat some of this food that I'm letting get cold here. Cut this open just to show you real quick. Cut a piece of the pie out of it here if I can. Break that off of there so you can see what that looks like. How awesome that loaf is that came out of that titanium there inside that large bush pot with that large rack to make a convection oven. Makes really, really good breads. And all this stuff that I use is just out of water. Um, I got just out of water potatoes here. I got just out of water mixes for my breads. And then all I have to do is bring some meat into camp of some kind, cook that, or get some kind of game off the landscape, and I'm ready to rock and roll quick and simple. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you again for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll see you guys when I get back from Europe. Thanks. Mm-hmm.